Today, we have a photo of a place I've been before, but I can't remember where it is. We're gonna try to find it, so stay tuned. Welcome back everybody, I'm Jeff Smith and this is Fun Size Adventures, which is our family vlog all about getting outdoors and active as a family. Today, we're here at Sears Island, which we've been a bunch of times before. You might remember when we came here looking for sea glass. So this is how the story goes. Several years ago, I was really into running. And one time I ran all the way down the road to the far end of the island. And then I decided to try to run back down the beach. And that was just not a good idea. When you've already run two miles on smooth ground and you try to run two more miles over rocks like this, you're just not gonna lift your feet up high enough to not trip. And I learned that the hard way. But along my way, I found this cool spot where there's like the water, there's a cliff. It was really scenic. And it's somewhere along this side of the island. And today, we're gonna go look for it. All we have is the picture to go by and my vague memory. But like I said, I was exhausted at that point. I can't remember exactly where it was but we are going to try to find it. Oh, it's sea glass. That's borderline. I'd call it sea glass, but just barely. Sea glass. Cool. You guys are finding more than we're not looking for than we did when we were looking for it. As you can see, there's still a lot of ice everywhere. It's a nice warm day today, but we're still dealing with the remnants of the ice. My hands are turning red. Do you need gloves? Yeah, do you want gloves? I have gloves. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. We're gonna get the gloves out. Watch this game. Limbo. Limbo log. Ice flow. Whoa. That makes a weird noise. This ring? Yeah. Are you bringing it to Mordor? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> There's another one of those driftwood houses down there. We'll have to go check it out. So all we have to go by to find this spot we're looking for is this picture that I took. And I've kind of tried to take some of what's in the background and put lined up against satellite photos. And if you line up the way this house in the background looks and the just the way the coastline's shaped, I think it's right at this certain spot. And we're right here at this sandy point now, so it should be about halfway there, if it's where I think it is. Let's keep going. Did you get a picture? Hold on, say cheese. cheese. No, look at me, cheese. cheese. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I blinked. Aww. We are approaching the log house. I don't know if anybody's home. Hopefully they're friendly. Oh no. This is, this is our house. You guys live here? And we got this cool. What do, you, what do you want to buy? Whoa, um, I'll take a stick and a broken shell. Oh, there's a broken shell. Do you have anything in blue? Anything in blue? Oh, yes, we do. Here's a broken one. Yep, that's what I asked for, a broken shell. <laughs> oh, that, that one's got a cool little hole in it. So it can be like this. Yeah! Arr, I am shell man. I will destroy you. I'm done with this. It's turning me into a clamshell man. I don't want to be clamshell man. And I don't have any money to pay you. We're leaving the, the driftwood house behind. Miles, we doing okay? Now this is generally where we give up. It's about a half mile from where our car is. Our car is up on the, the causeway there. This is only like halfway to where I think that we're trying to get to. So we'll have to see. We'll probably get there and it will look not nearly as cool as I thought it did when I was half exhausted after running about three miles. <laughs> But it's a goal, and sometimes you just need goals to get there. And to get these guys to get there, they need to make it there in order to get their lunch. <laughs> oh. All right, we've rounded the point. 
see that next point, how there's a little drop off? I think that's that cliff from the picture. We'll have to get closer to see. It's a seahorse. What's a seahorse? Yeah. He, he it's oh, it's, a, it's those worms at the beach. That is kind of creepy looking, whatever it is. Ah, it's moving. Oh, okay, I'm out of here. Sea life can have the sea. I don't want any part of it. I'll stay up here on the land. Wardrobe malfunctions. I, okay. <laughs> Eli's the worst to try to get clothes on. Well, I know everybody with little kids can relate to this situation. At least we're to the point where we don't have to do it with all four kids. Yeah. And Miles, we take the easy way out. Just we just put socks on his hands. <laughs> so you remember a couple weeks ago when we were at Harriman Point? Calvin had a walking stick that he brought from home. Nothing special about it, just a regular old stick he brought from the yard. And then he f realized when we were just about back that he forgot it along the trail. And it was just nothing special about it, so I made him leave it and I said we'd make a new one. So we made a new one, I spent like two hours on it. He brought it with him today, and he just realized it's not in his hands anymore. <laughs> yeah. So now we got a new side quest for the hike back. Luckily we're coming back the same way, and we have to try to find his stick amongst all this other driftwood. <laughs> now the thing that makes his stick unique is I took all the bark off of it. But that doesn't make it unique here. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully we find that. I guess we'll find out at the end of the video if we did. All the little streams coming out of the side of the island are just these ice slabs. But this one, you can hear that running water. Sooner or later, spring will come. We're just about there. The kids are starting to give up though. Gotta carry two kids now. But we're starting to find cliffs, which is what I remember. So I think we may have found the spot. Not big cliffs, but they see how they're, they're like, oh, especially with the ice. And here's the, whoa, what's in here? That is a cool spot. You want to eat lunch here? Oh yeah, it's a nice. It's out of the wind. That yeah. is nice. Yeah, I think the spot from the picture is probably right there. I would call that good. I think we found it. The kids are giving up, so this is a good spot to eat lunch. And this spot is cool enough anyway. And we can hide out of the wind. The one thing we're learning is the more we round the island, the more wind there is. So if we're gonna eat lunch, it'd be better to do it here. We got the mai mai out of the backpack. We got diapers. That's not what we're looking for. We got the peanut butter sandwiches. It's been a little while since you've seen us eat a peanut butter sandwich, hasn't it? Yeah. That used to be a staple on the vlog. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Is this a cool spot to eat a sandwich? Dad, look at this big root. He likes oh, yeah. The best part of this place, the seagulls are not even coming in yeah? and stealing it. It's almost like a cave, but not quite, because obviously it's just trees above. Yeah, you, you were right up in here somewhere. Yeah, you went that way? You don't see it anywhere around? Maybe it's near. Oh, I see it. It's on the sand. Ah! Oh. We found it! I saw it. Yeah, you saw it. He, he retraced the steps up to where he went to use the bathroom. And then he, from up there, he looked down and he saw it laying on the sand. Which is good, because I thought it was in this mangle of sticks. Yeah, no, me too. But... All right, so we found the cliffs we were looking for. This eastern side of Sears Island, if you're ever here, can kind of seem barren, not a lot to check out, but there's definitely these little tiny nooks and crannies that are worth exploring. So thanks for coming along on our adventure today. If you're not subscribed already, do so, so you can get notified when our new videos come out each week. Make sure you like this video, and as always, until next time, get out there and have a fun-sized adventure of your own. What is that? It looks like a roof to like a shed, like a plastic shed. If we were in like Castaway, we could build a sail out of that. Anybody seen Tom Hanks? Wilson!